Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Wednesday, October the 12th, 2022, and this is my floss tube number 57. I would like to say hello and welcome to any and all new subscribers to my channel. I um, hope that I can enable you in some of the things that I am stitching, and to my returning friends and subscribers, thank you so very much for returning every time that I do upload a video. Um, this is actually video recording number two. I had recorded a video on Monday and um, it went really well. <clears throat> However, it would not, um, it wouldn't do what it needed to do. Like there's a whole thing that you gotta do for the videos and so it was just it was crazy and so after two days of trying to get it to do the right thing i decided to just go ahead on and re-record the video so as i stumble and stammer along please be patient with me i would like to thank you all so very much oh lord and then i pulled the hair right out of the um, for all of the well wishes for the time that I spent with my son, he was here for um, a week and from Saturday to Saturday, um, we did have a very good time for the most part. I mean, we had a good time period, but we, he came home to help me with some of my home improvement stuff um, and so we spent a lot of time cleaning and throwing things away and it was just a lot so um it was really nice to have him here um i did need to remember however that he was he is an adult and so i you know you say things and oh mom please you don't have to do all of that so, but it was a good time. Um, I do not get to see him very often. So it, it is always great when I get to spend some good quality time with him. But even though we did a lot of work, I'm going to move this just a little bit. I have a new uh, tablet that he purchased for me and now um, a stand for the tablet. And so I'm trying to make sure I am in the, that everything looks okay. Um, even though he was here and I did not think that I was going to be able to get a lot of stitching done, I did get a lot of stitching done. And so we are going to jump right in with what I did accomplish last week. So I do have a finish and now i'm trying to think on what uh where i put it because again i have done this video already once so my finish for last week was november Square Dance November by Heart and Hand. And um, I did stitch this on a 28 count Harvest Moon by Color and Cotton. And I used the called for DMC. The model was uh, stitched on a 32 count. However, I like um, seeing it as it is. A little bit bigger than what it is this is a keepsakes shop model so i'll be getting it over to miss barbara soon um she did um show me she finished the august and september and i will put pictures of those here um she, this is how she finished those two that I had already done. And so it is, they were really cute and I was super excited. I will be working on getting started on the December one. 
Um, however, I have made some different plans. And so it's going to be um, maybe a week, week and a half before I get started on December. But I would like to give you a little tease of the color palette because I am changing this up. And here is what I'll be using, some of what I'll be using. And I will be stitching the December on um, a 32 count. And it is called Dusty Road. So you can look forward to seeing that one come together in a, about a week. I'm going to start it. <clears throat> and because of the plans that I've made, um, that's why I'm holding off working on it. These projects have become my 25-7 um, but I'm going to end up having two 25 sevens, and I'll explain that as I go along. So that was my finish for the week. And now I have um, my new starts. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen one of my new starts. And it is for the hashtag Garon Designer Focus. This month is Cricut Collection, which was EJ's choice. And I have decided to stitch um, the Great Pumpkin Conspiracy. And I am stitching this on a gifted 40 count fabric. And I am using the called for DMC flosses. Sorry, they're all tangly. And here is where I did get to. I am stitching this one floss, one thread of floss over two linen square, uh, two linen threads. And that is what I have right now. So the chart, I actually started in the middle and went, um, the middle is, the middle is right here at this peak. And so I finished the, the one part and now I'm coming back across. And so I am here, about there. So I have this much more to go. I work on this project or any of the designer focus projects on Sundays because that is when we normally Zoom with Garon. However, this Sunday, they will not be having a Zoom. They will be having a bag sale on Saturday. So if you are in need of project bags or would like to check out their Cricut collection, please head over to their Garon Stitchery. All of the designer focus charts for the month are on sale. So that was my new start for the designer focus. I chose the Great Pumpkin Conspiracy because it reminded me of uh, growing up and watching Charlie Brown. Um, the name of that cartoon was The Great Pumpkin. And that scene, remi that reminded me of that. And so that's why I chose it. Something's going on with Albert, so. You need to go lay down. So that was um, my first start. I actually started it on Sunday, October the 2nd. And my next start was because my friend EJ started a shadow lane. I know it's in here. Here it is. Nope. Um, and I wanted to participate. So I went um, onto the shadow lane website and there, are, there were two freebies and I chose one. 
And I am going to hold the chart back here. This is what it looks like. It is called the Tiny Marie Antoinette Rose Garden. And here is what I have so far. This was a uh, one day of stitching. And so I have, I started with the outermost um, border and then went to the inner border. I am stitching this on a 28 count Queen Anne's lace and I am using the called for DMCs. And it's um, so far so good. Um, you know, right now I just have the X's in. If you would like to participate, um, the hashtag that you can follow also is Shadow Lane Stitching. And um, you will see all different sorts of Shadow Lanes it, with following that um, hashtag. Um, there was something else I was going to say. It's very difficult to redo a video. I'm going to say that. Um, oh, so I was on the phone um, talking with Miss Shelia on Saturday about this chart. And there are no directions. So if you find yourself wanting to stitch this chart and get um, thrown off or confused or you have questions... Please put your questions um, in the Facebook group, and that way, um, <clears throat> one of us that is stitching the pattern can help you through it. Um, there are no, again, no directions, but as we, as me and Miss Shelia talked about it, we came up with, okay, this is stitch, this is a quarter stitch, this is a half stitch to the right, a half stitch to the left. So, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask in the Sunshine Stitchers um, Facebook group. Here are the called for DMC. Now, it does provide the specialty um, fibers, Gloriana Silk, um, Rainbow Gallery Threads. <clears throat> However, I because it's a small piece, I decided to just go with the DMC on that. Okay. So because it actually took me two days in order to get this video up, I've already had two new starts. Um, in the video that was supposed to go up on Monday, I um, said my plans for this week we're going to be new starts. And so every day this week, I'm having a new start. I have noticed last year that I do not have a lot of autumnal cross stitching pieces. Um, and I do, even though it's very small, I do like to decorate um, a little bit for the different seasons or holidays. So I have chosen to do some new starts and my first my next new start is actually a whip go call and i am using it in the magazine monthly acrostic festive and it stands for the s and it is Summer Quakers by Rosewood Manor. <coughs> Pardon me. Like, it is later than what I would normally record. My daughter just left. Like, it's all the things. I am stitching this on a 28-count Palomino by Atomic Ranch Fabrics. And I get that through Rogue Stitching. 
and I am using the called for Valdani's and here is where I stitched this is what my stitching was on this for Monday I started it on Monday and those were the stitches that I was able to get in so for the acrostic I did use um I did say that um, I was giving this three days, so it will get some more stitches in on it. Uh, for Whipgo, it was number six, and my number six was a new start for summer. And so that is where that is. That was one new start. And then yesterday on the 11th for the festive, the letter V, I am the uh, word I chose for that was variations. And the chart is called Black Work Pumpkin. And I chose that for V because the... Uh, there is a DMC variations thread that is used in that chart. And that is what this looks like. It is in the 4,000s. This actual number is 4,124. And here is what that chart looks like. It, was, it is in the Just Cross magazine for October 2022. And I started that on yesterday because even though things weren't working the way that I wanted them to, I still had a plan and I still had to work my plan. And here is where I stitched to yesterday. I am stitching this on a 28 count color and cotton. And then um, it doesn't have a name. It just says special edition. And this is the bottom of the chart or the bottom of the pumpkin. So you stitch it twice and one you stitch the bottom one way and the top the other way, and then you match them up. And I am not planning on any of these being finished this year. However, it is good to have them in my whip pile so that some year, <laughs> some year I will have some good uh, autumn pieces to decorate with. And so that was my second start which was yesterday. So when we get into plans, I'll go over the rest of what I am planning on doing. So now I'm going to move over into my whips and the first whip that I would like to show you uh, is T, is the T in festive and that is Thankful and Blessed by Shannon Christine. It's so bad. I, like, I had these all. Um, in alphabetical order. Or not alphabetical order, but. In the order that they needed to be in. Nope. What did I do with that bag? Because I know. Hold, please. As it turned out, I'm looking all over for it. It's laying right here next to me. So, my next uh, whip, and this stands for the letter T in festive, is Shannon Christine's Thankful and Blessed. And this is a freebie in the uh, Facebook group. And I picked it up last year after I saw my friend uh, Georgia Girl Stitching started and finished it. And 
And here is a picture of where it was when I picked it up. <clears throat> and here is where it is now. Pardon the parked thread. So I put in the letters for thank. I'm at the K. I went in and filled in some of this dark green on this side over here. And that was the stitching that I got done on this. I still have... <clears throat> Two more days to stitch on this. I allotted three days for it. So, I really do enjoy this stitch. I am stitching this on a 16 count country French rain. And I am using the called for DMCs on this. If you would like this chart, please go over and join the uh, Shannon Christine Facebook group. I will link it down below and you can pick it up also. Okay. Once I get to... Um, A certain point in the month of November, I'm going to switch over from uh, Thanksgiving and fall and start on my Christmas stitching. So that's a preview of things to come. <clears throat> my next whip for the acrostic festive is the letter I. And of course, for the letter I, I always try to use ink circles. And that is Arranging Leaves. And I know it's in here because that's the code. Here it is. I'm like, I just seen it. And this is what it will look like. And here's a picture of where it was when I picked it up this time. And here is where I am now. So I have outlined up to the top. I still have a few more to go here, but I added these two leaves and then I came down and added these two and all of these leaves down here. This is the start of a, another smaller leaf and then I'll be starting on the middle. I am enjoying the outlining that is the middle um, and I um, will be starting that next after you know, I did all those things. I do enjoy doing the outline. It does help it to go so much quicker. Um, and I can make sure that everything is in its correct place. I am stitching this on a 28 count beige Jobelin. And I am using the D called for DMC with the exception of for the outlining. I am using 3371. And if you've been around for a while, you know I love a good ink circle. So it has really been nice um, working on this one. I just started this in March, which was the designer focus. Ink circles was a designer focus for the month of March. Yeah, it was. And so I am loving that. It also will be getting... Um, another day, just one more day on that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to move on to um, some whips that are not in the acrostic. And the first one I'm going to show is the Twisted Band Sampler. Here's a picture of what it will look like. And here's a picture of where it was when I last worked on it. And here is where I am now. So this month I started on the top half of the butterfly and the top half of the butterfly matches the color of the band before it. So I'm going to do the butterflies all the way down and then next month I'll do the second half of the butterflies. I am stitching this on an 18 count white Ada and I'm using the called for DMC on this one strand over one square. And I love this piece. As you can see, for the um, I stitch on this on the fourth of every month. However, the fourth of this month, I did not get it all completely done because my you know my son was here, so I worked on it as, as, as much as I could, and I will be giving it another day um, later on in the month to get it caught up. So that's where that is. I started this. It was actually a gift um, from my friend Carolyn, the Seasook Stitch, and I started it on the 4th and have continued working on it. I don't know. Um, I think she has put hers aside until next year, so. But it'll be good to uh, have some good progress on it. When she picks it back up, she'll probably fly right through. She, I am doing the one with um, cross stitch only, and she's doing cross stitch plus specialty stitches. So, my next whip is. Stitching each day. Oh, it's upside down. Which was uh, my chart, my pattern for Mental Health May. And here's a picture of where it was when I picked it up. And here is where I am now. So as you can see, I actually thought that this was done and all I needed to do was the fill in part. I was wrong. Um, and I noticed that when I recorded the Monday video, I still need to finish the leaves and this little flower on this side. However, I have been working on this fill-in on the box. This project is now my 25-7 project um, until I get it completed, which is why the December square dance has been put on hold. And um, within 25 minutes, I usually can get in three strands of thread, which is pretty good. Um, and I am literally going across. So um, as you can see here, like I blocked out. So I'm not taking the thread completely all the way across. What I do is, is I stitch. So like I stitch the inside of the A. And then I stitched the inside of the R and the inside of the le in between the legs of the R. You know what I mean? I'm stitching it in blocks so that I'm just not going all the way across, which is helping with a great deal with that variegation. That thread color is Paris green. And I 
had used all of the one skein that I had and I have gotten two more skeins just in case. For the 25-7, because I do it in the morning before work, I'm going to just continue working on the filling in. And then once I get the fill in completed, I'll come back in and put those leaves and the rest of the, and that other flower in. I don't want to do all of this six stitches change, but uh, move to another section. Six stitches move to another section. I like having the, um, the ability to just keep stitching, rethread my needle, keep stitching. So it's really been helpful. Um, and it'll be great to see how much progress I can get in on this pro uh, project over the next couple of weeks. So that is my new 25-7 project. So you will be seeing that every week because um, I'll be putting stitches in. And one, I actually have two more whips that I worked on. This next whip was actually in AB Singo, and I didn't feel like I had given it enough um, love on the day that it was called, and it is The River. And if you recall, I am only stitching the urn and this flower motif. And here's a picture of where it was when I picked it up. And here is what I have now. So I, I, um, yeah, I always have to check. So I came up and put in this line and this line over and started putting in the little bits. I guess they would be leaves little leaves here. I am stitching this on a eight, a 14 count Evil Queen by Bestitch Me and I am using the uh, Floss DMC Blanc. And so this is a lovely piece. I, I think I just love it so much because it's such a stark contrast. But it will probably go away until the spring now. But it has, it was really nice to pull it out. I'm going to have to check and see. I am um, getting ready to make my plans for 2023. And um, as I get to plans, I'll explain what I mean by that. So that was the river. And my last whip for this uh, video is of course dun, 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 dun. purple rain and this is a heaven and earth design with the artwork from the artwork of John Enright sorry my zipper is like getting ready to cause me to have a heart attack. Okay. And here is what it will look like, hopefully, when it gets finished. And here's a picture of where it was when I picked it up on the 7th. And here is where it is now. As you can see, I have left it in the Q-snap and I do have some, um, the, the word just went straight out of my mouth, parked threads. So I worked in this section some more. I checked, so the last, Month, last month, I changed over and used a different purple, and I came back this month using that same exact purple and filling in 
<clears throat> my goal is to go con completely across the top and then start going down um, because the colors change as it goes from um, left to right. And so that's where I am now. I am stitching this on a piece of 18 count Ada dyed by EJ with the called for anchor threads gifted to me by Miss Joy. It is still in a Q snap because I have not gotten the uh, required 300 stitches in on it. I still have 94 stitches to go. So you will see this again um, a little later in the month. But that is where I am. I know um, I'm not for sure if I said it on my channel. I have voiced um, some concerns that I had with it um, in the Facebook, in the uh, gear on Zoom. Um, and now I can honestly say that I am over the... Uh, the stitches like I thought the stitches just looked bad but um, the more I stitch on it the better they seem to look so here's hoping for that I'm sure it'll be fine um, it is a it is going to be a multi-year project and so I'm just gonna be fine with it I am loving it though um, when I sit down to stitch on it, like, it's it's just wonderful to me. I just, I have the needle, you know, that works well in the fabric with the thread, all of that in the bag. And so it has been much more delightful when, since I have uh, figured all of that out. And so those are my whips for the week. Uh, I am going to move on to plans. I'm sorry. I'm just like, if anybody knows me, you know. Okay, so it's probably 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. It's 10 till. nine and so you know if y'all know me y'all know like oh she's almost getting ready to go to bed <laughs> but i'm not um so there are a couple of different things that i'm um, planning on doing S the rest of this week so to today's new start was going to be and i don't know if i still have time to start it. If not, then tomorrow I'll be starting two projects. So, for the acrostic festive, the E is um, Emily Call, and I purchased this. This is part of my um, investments. However, I changed the fabric and with changing the fabric, I also changed the thread. So let me show you what I'll be using. So I changed to a 28 count Cypress and that is the color palette that I will be using on it. And that was to be started today. However, today has gotten away from me. So it probably will be started tomorrow. And that was the E in uh, festive. For the F in festive, which is supposed to be started tomorrow, I will be starting Bent Creek. Let's be thankful, Ro. And this is the choice for F because the fabric is called Fox Run by Color and Cotton. It's a 28 count. 
And I um, am using the Call For Weeks Dye Works for those. And that will get started. So I have really come, um, with the exception of I am using one cottage garden thread, oregano, and that will be used for the vine and the leaves that run through the word. Um, so, you know, this time next year, I should have some pretty good um, autumn finishes, hopefully. Um, because I noticed last year that I did not have um, a whole lot of those. So that is the plan for tomorrow. I've changed the uh, stitch the 25 seven stitch. I, that is also a Facebook group that is run by Melanie Watkins, the soulful stitcher. Um, so if you are interested, please go over to Facebook. There's a couple of questions to answer and then she will let you into the group. Um, so let me see. I have gone over those plans so for the next week, I will be working on arranging leaves again, and I will be working on thankful and blessed, thankful and blessed also. Let us be thankful row is also the theme piece for the magazine monthly group, and that is choose your own holiday, and I chose Thanksgiving. Um, as you all are well aware of, I, um, have been having some struggles. As it turned out, I did start my new job on Monday, um, and right now I'm working both jobs. However, I am so excited and so happy with the decision and the choice that I made to switch. Um, I actually, um, will... I've been going through training because there's a lot of training for the position that I that I'll have to uh, do. But I will be teaching, teaching, yeah, demonstrating or teaching um, on Monday uh, on you know teaching a group how how to process certain policies that we have within the, that they are processing. So I am super excited for all of um, the opportunity that this position is going to provide for me. Um, even though right now working, you know, the old, the current, the older position, the position I'm leaving and this new one is like keeping me hopping. But I do know that, you know, um, this other position is going to come to an end at some point, And I look forward to being in the um, conversion specialist role. That's what the role is. Um, and it is just going to be, it has really lightened my um, mindset am amazingly enough. I did go to the doctor they did put me on some other medication, um, so that is also helping. But it has just been a, a huge load off my mind to know that um, the frustration that I have been having for probably years is about to end and I can move on um, to a new endeavor and grow and think and all of that. So... Thank you all also so very much for the well wishes with that position. Um, I loved what I did, um, but at a certain point in time, it became more frustrating. Um, and so I knew that it was going to be time. However, I also knew that I could not 
go backwards in um, with the um, amount of money that I make. Um, and so, you know, if, if it had been God's will that I stayed in that position, then I would have just endured and found joy in something else. And But thankfully enough, I've been blessed to move to a new position and I am super excited about it. So I was trying to look over um, what else I was going to be doing. I will be putting in some more time next week on the black work pumpkin and on arranging leaves. This week I'm going to uh, work a little bit more on the uh, whip go call number six, which is summer Quakers. And then on uh, um, Saturday, I will be picking back up mouth of the flower, which was, um, the call number one was one for the mouth of the flower. So I'll be starting picking that back up again on Saturday. On Sundays, of course, I'll be working on the uh, Great Pumpkin Conspiracy. And so that takes us through to the next Saturday. So, you know, I'm just going to keep plugging along. I need to see where I can put in the Shadow Lane piece again. I would love to have both of those borders completed by the end of the month. So it'll just be a little bit of me um, finagling around or maybe spending part of the evening on one project and then picking up the Shadow Lane because I really want to at least get that those two outer borders completed. So now I am going to take this off of, um, get this cleaned up, and then we'll, we'll go into Stitchy Kindness and Investments, and I will be right back. So, um, everyone says Stitchy Friends are like the greatest, um, and this next Sitchy kindness is proof in that. So I uh, went to keepsakes on Saturday. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pictures that I took and posted of 310. Um, I am not really a cat person, but I do make an exception for 310. Um, and she just purred at me and let me take her picture and it was great. So when I got down there, I... Um, Walked in the door and um, Jen Spoon 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 of Rooney Stitches on Instagram um, was like, "Oh, you're here! I'm glad you're here. I got stuff for you." So she gave me a a, a scroll frame, which is great. You know, she does. She thought she was gonna like it, but she didn't. And then she was like, I saved a stitch and it is just for you. And I was like, you did. And so she gifted me this beauty. The mat is uh, purple. And then the second mat is gray, which is to my, you know, purple is my color. And then gray is only number two to purple. And it is exquisite perfectly stitched the whole thing and she rescued this stitch and then gave gifted it to me and I just couldn't believe it I never find cross stitch well let me say this I don't go to the thrift store very often um that's one of the issues I have I, I haven't been leaving the house very much at all but I never, I mean, in the frame, with the mats, the whole, everything. It is not signed anywhere that we can tell. And we have, you know, I've looked since I've had it in my possession. Um, but it is not signed anywhere. There's no identification on it. But it is perfect. And so for right now, it is actually going to go right here. 
So you'll be seeing it for um, a month at least while um, until I change over the seasons. I actually already had it up there and pulled it down for the video. So, And then another friend sent me, these are uh, Stacy Stitches. Um, she also has an online shop and I will link it below. Um, these next, this next stitchy kindness. So, you know how I am about butterflies. So there were three butterfly, wooden butterfly pieces. Um, and you, it, it provides you the pattern. There's a pattern. It provides you how to do it, how to put them together, all of that. And then she sent me in one of those little cute little bags. It is a scissor fob, a needle minder, and a frogger. So here is the frogger. And then here is the needle minder. I mean the scissor fob. And it says on there, cross stitch queen. And it's a whole little set. Because even the frogger with the little tiny one on the bottom, it says the same thing inside there. And then the needle minder. Sorry, I'm getting used to my new camera thingy. And so, um, and she sent it just to cheer me up. And so thank you so very much, Stacey. You know how much I love it. I've all, We've already talked about it. And I am so thankful to have you as a friend, it has, uh, it, it was wonderful. And the day that it came was a day that I needed um, a special surprise. So thank you so very much. And then I did get some acquisitions because I, or some investments because I did receive. So if you remember last month, my card was hacked. And so my color of the, the color of the cotton, the my color and cotton fabric for the month of September was put on hold. She kept it for me and then she sent it out this month when she sent the October and it is called dried violets. Look at that. It is just a little bit darker than that. I have like every light on in my kitchen that I possibly can. Because it's dark outside. So it is beautiful and I will have to come up with something um, to put on that because I love a good purple. It's probably more of a mauve purple, but nevertheless and then the October fabric of the month is called Spellbook and it is a wonderful neutral I'm gonna have to figure out the whole lighting situation with this uh, new tablet it is way bigger it looked like, like I hope when I do the editing on this that it all looks good like like it looks, me looking back at it. And then I received <coughs> my Thread of the Month clubs from the Fat Quarter Shop. And um, the first club is um, the Floss Frenzy. And this is Weeks Dye Works. And the colors are chickpea. I'm gonna just have to learn to put keep stuff back here. Chickpea, 
bright leaf, tiger's eye, pecan, cinnamon twist, and hazelnut. And they look really good right there. I know a lot of people aren't into brown, but when you have a good brown, like this is a good brown. These are good browns. Um, the name of the, yeah, the name for this month is called Falling Leaves. And my leaves kind of look like this. I'm already doing the whole leaf pickup, if you can believe that. Like, I'm over them. And then, um, yesterday, I received my Floss Fix, which is Classic Color Works. And it is Tabby. Lunar Eclipse, Plymouth Rock, Cauldron, Zach Black, and Black Coffee. And, like, I might need to get um, a small Ink Circles Mandela, M Mandala, or something. Because, like, this whole, like, I could use all of them in one gray black silver purple those are my colors and the name of this month is called gunmetal gray <clears throat> excuse me i do know um that starting in january all of the floss clubs will go from um what they're doing now and <laughs> they'll be do, sending them out in alphabetical order so it will be um a, that will be a little change um i am going to continue getting these flosses um you know i last video i was like you know i need to save some money i got things i want to do but i also need to treat myself because i do a lot so um I'm not changing any of the clubs. Well, that's not true. I'm not changing my floss clubs. Let me say it that way. And then the next, I'm trying to put these back up because I don't want them to just sit out. Um, the next, oh, those were all of the clubs that I got for this week. Okay, so I went to Keepsakes. And I can't, I don't think I've ever gone down there and not purchased something. I don't know. I, I doubt it. I doubt it very seriously. So the first thing that I picked up was some Peacekeeper size 28s. Um, I have been doing, did that show? Like everything seems like it's so blurry. Okay. Um. With I these needles have been great um for the 40 count stitching that I've started doing and so I picked up another pack. Um I have been literally putting um one needle if it's a 40 count project then I just put the needle in there with it and so I needed to pick up another pack of those and I do really love them. I am interested in the Pony Black Needles that were in the Black Needle Society box. So if anyone um, outside of the Black Needle Society group um, or got in the box group, if you've tried those needles, uh, could you please post uh, what your review of them would be? Because I would like to try those. So last month when I went down to Keepsakes, I picked up Joy by Shepherd's Bush. And so this month I picked up the thread. Um, they did thread packs for them. And so I picked up um, the three. These are DMCs. They are uh, number five pearl cotton. And then Weeks Dye Works also has a, a pearl, number five pearl cotton. And they all came together. They 
So if you want to order, not order, if you want to call and place an order and have them shipped, each one of these designs that has this, they've made the thread packs for them if you want to pick that up. So I'll be starting this for my Christmas stitching uh, late November, early December. And since I picked that one up, I then picked up the next one that I liked, which is Stitch. I do have these bags. And so, um, it's a good thing to put on there. So, I'll be starting Stitch probably in the spring. It looks more springy to me with the beehive and the flowers. So, and then... I um, am still in the autumnal Thanksgiving mindset, so I picked up this Blessed Beyond Measure by Sweet Wing Studios. At least I said it better this time. Monday, it was a tongue twister. So I can't wait to get started on that. It actually uses a... Uh, Classic Color Works, a DMC, Gentle Arts, and Weeks Dye Works. So I'll have to see about, um, about those threads. And then I found this cute little chart. It is by Elizabeth's Designs. I had not heard of this before. Um, the chart is copyrighted 2005, but it is super cute. And other than the X's that go around the words, all the other stitches are specialty stitches. So I'm going to dip my toe in the specialty stitches. Other than the black work, black work is also considered specialty, but these are long stitches and some other stitches. I actually looked at the design already, so I can't wait to get started with that. And then the last thing that I got from Keepsakes, Miss Barbara's husband, Mr. Joe, is a beekeeper. And so they um, got honey this year. And so she actually has been making waxers out of the Whatever the leftover bee stuff is, I, I don't know. But isn't that cute? I'm sorry that my, so I don't know what has happened. My fingernails and my cuticles have all been jacked up. But isn't that cute? And so I got two little bees from uh, Mr. Joe's beehive. Ah, Mr. Joe's beehive. And so that was all of my, um, investments from keepsakes and then while i was at keepsakes i was talking with one of my friends and we were talking about thanksgiving and cross stitch projects that you know the words are meaningful to to you and all of that and so she pulled up because i was actually looking for it for this month for the theme for the holiday theme. So she peeled up a stitch that she had already done and finished. And I was like, that's perfect. It was exactly what I was looking for. And so it is by Cherry Hill Stitchery and it is called An Autumn Wish. And I am going to be starting this uh, sooner rather than later. She did say that the pumpkin was a beast, but I was like, yeah, I'm sure it is. But, you know, one stitch at a time. I love it. Um, may your lives be filled, be full of thanks, get thanks and giving. And I just love that saying. And that, you know, you look for things, but you don't know what you're looking for. But then when you find it, you know, like, that's it. That's what I was looking for. And that's how I felt when she showed me this pack, this chart. So I did purchase that from um, Cherry Hill Stitcheries Etsy shop. 
and I will link it down below. Maybe some of you would like to stitch this for Thanksgiving or autumn. So, I have one more announcement. Um, I was watching um, Soulful Stitcher, which is Melanie Watkins, and she is coming up, she has come up with a new, so I guess she used to run, not guess, she did, she ran a um, Facebook group, and it was Finish That Whip. Um, and there were all these things and all of that. Well, she has revamped um, that. She talked about it in her last video. <coughs> Pardon me. And so now, oh, it was called the Year of Whips. That's what it was. So now she is revamping that whole idea, and I am here for it and am going to participate in it. So please go to her. Um, I will link her below. Go to her YouTube and watch the video. The gist of what it is is that um, you pick six projects and out of the six, you have to finish three. It doesn't start until January the 18th, which is her birthday. And it will end on December the 18th. 2023. All of this is 2023. Um, I'm here for it because I just, um, in the last video said, you know, I need a way to move some of these whips along. Like I still love all of them. So it's not about me abandoning them or anything. I, I love them and I want to get them finished. So I think this is going to be a really great way um, for me to do that. Um, and I will be doing the planning session. I know that Carolyn asked if people wanted to do it, and I'll be doing that. I um, have already been thinking and pulling charts out that I am considering for 2023. So... We'll see as we go forward. Again, I want to thank you all so very much for all of your support. You, you guys are just awesome. Um, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I know um, I've only been able to give hearts uh, on comments. You know, I'll try to get back to um, actually commenting back to you when I can, it, it just, uh, there's so much going on that I just, uh, want you to know that I appreciate you all so very much. Um, I have not forgotten. I am well over the 1000 subscribers and I have not forgotten about, uh, doing the 1000 subscriber giveaway. I just need to start pulling things together, um, for it. Um, and so what I may do since I'm like a month and a half away, uh, my two year anniversary will be on December the 1st. And so what I may do is combine the 1000 subscriber giveaway with my anniversary, um, and have a big giveaway. <laughs> um, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, my heart and my prayers go out to all of those that have been affected by uh, my ex-husband. His name was Ian. his name is Ian. So I know it's not a funny joke, but I thought it was funny. Um, that have been affected by Ian. Um, it was a massive storm, and so I uh, have been keeping you all all the Floridians and South Carolinians in my thoughts and prayers uh, that everything is going to work out for you all. I uh, think I have said everything that I can possibly say and I appreciate you and I hope that you are able to get in some good stitching. If you live in an area where the foliage is changing, please make sure you get out and uh, 
enjoy the bright colors of the trees. It's been wonderful. My tree is really, really uh, probably at peak color right now. I'll uh, get a picture and put it in uh, at the end so you can see it. So, um, and one of my subscribers, the one actually that showed me the uh, Shannon, uh, the Cherry Hill Stitchery said that she wanted to see pictures of Albert in the video. So I'll put a picture of Albert uh, at the end also. He's doing well. He had his birthday uh, on Tuesday. He is now officially 12 years old. He was so funny when my son was here. So, um, you know, I picked my son up from the airport. We come home and Albert's, you can hear him outside barking. And then when I opened up the door and my son stepped inside the door, like he immediately stopped barking, tail wagging, all of that. And it is ama it always amazes me that like after two years, he still knows my son's scent and just is fine with it. He uh, did have a little problem though. Uh, he walked around and every time my son went somewhere in the house, Albert was right there because he... He's not used to having people in the house. So, but after two days, he stopped doing that and he was okay. So I am going to let you all go. I thank you again so very much and have a good stitchy week. See ya. Bye.